Just when I thought it was a light news day, I might have inadvertently stumbled onto the first cruise ship that could potentially receive a red status from the CDC. Plus, the government of Canada says cruising outside of the country, it's not recommended. All this coming up on Midships. Welcome to the Midships YouTube channel. I'm your Captain Corey. Thank you so much for stopping by the channel today. And I thought it was going to be kind of a light news day going in here on a Sunday afternoon. I sat down, started looking through my usual sources to see what's going on in the cruise industry. Didn't really find a whole lot going on. And then suddenly I clicked over to an article that changed all that coming out from Royal Caribbean. And we're gonna to get to that article in just a little bit. But as we're getting started this morning, I wanna do something a little bit different. I'm gonna join all of the other cruise creators in pushing back against this ridiculous level four travel alert that came out the other day from the CDC. As you know, as all of the other cruise YouTubers know, Cruising is one of the safest places that you could possibly be right now. It is far safer than attending the Rose Bowl amidst 100,000 other fans. It is far safer than going and gambling in Las Vegas amidst thousands and thousands of people who haven't been tested. It's far safer than going out downtown for New Year's around thousands of other people that have no clue if they've come in contact with COVID in the past two days. During the Delta variant of COVID-19, it was demonstrably proven that cruise ships were far safer and far less infectious and far less likely to send you to the hospital or to your death than being on land. So with all that in mind, as we're fully entrenched in the Omicron variant of the COVID pandemic, the least deadly variant that we've seen thus far. However, it is the most transmissible variant. It's very important to remember that if you're fully vaccinated, if you're boosted, if you've already had coronavirus in the past, you are so incredibly unlikely to have to go to the hospital or to die because of the Omicron variant. Why the heck do we suddenly have this new level four travel restriction coming out from the CDC that says you should avoid cruise travel even if you're boosted? Don't even go there. If you're fully vaccinated, if you're boosted, just don't cruise. I don't understand it. It's one of the safest places that you could spend time right now. So maybe you're watching today's episode and you're active on social media, or you're a cruise content creator on YouTube, or you just love cruising. I would challenge you to post your disagreement to this level four travel alert coming out from the CDC. Now we're gonna hop into today's cruise news and we're gonna start with a story affecting our neighbors to the north up in Canada. From castanet.net, cruise is not recommended. Canada advises against cruising internationally as COVID cases surge. Written by Alina Sheepert. The Port of Vancouver plans to welcome cruise ship passengers for the 2022 season, but Canada says locals should not sail out of the country. As of November 1st, cruise ships are no longer banned in Canadian waters. However, the government of Canada advises that you could be subject to quarantine procedures on board the ship or in a foreign country. The government of Canada won't pay your medical bills, including COVID-related expenses or medical evacuation. The cost of medical care could be very expensive if required, and you might need to pay for your own medical bills immediately in cash. On December 30th, the US CDC warned people do not go on cruises regardless of your vaccine status because of onboard COVID spread fueled by the Omicron variant. U.S. cruise lines have not announced any plans to halt operations, though vessels have been denied entry at some foreign ports. So far, the Public Health Agency of Canada hasn't made a statement related to cruising specifically, except that cruising outside of the country is not recommended. So who would have thought that we'd reach a point in this pandemic where Canadian health officials think cruising is safe, but U.S. officials say, ah, don't cruise no matter what. No matter what. Now, in yesterday's extremely popular midships episode, I shared three stories of cruisers bucking the trend and saying, I'm going to cruise no matter what. Well, I have another one coming out from Fort Myers, Florida, and I'd like to share it with you now. From winknews.com, Fort Myers, CDC advice to avoid cruise ships, not stopping many from booking. The CDC now says to avoid cruises even if you're vaccinated. In Southwest Florida, travel agents say the recommendation isn't stopping people from booking their next vacation. And Patrick Michad, owner of Salted Rim Vacation, said the following of the CDC. They go back and forth with the instructions on what they're providing, and it's confusing a lot of people. I think at this point, people are just, you know, willing to do what it takes to stay safe, 
but also willing to take the risk. They're not concerned to the point that it's stopping them. Mashad believes his boost in bookings is because many cruise lines like Royal Caribbean are offering deals and have safety precautions in place. And with all that said, travel agents and frequent cruisers like myself would highly recommend travel insurance on your next cruise. Well, it happened a few days ago and sort of flew under the radar, but I would be remiss if I didn't report on a cruise ship being denied access to its very own private island. From crew-center.com, Bahamian authorities reject MSC Seashore to dock on MSC's private island, Ocean K. The year is coming to an infamous end with the extremely contagious Omicron variant rocking the world. Not a good sign for the cruise industry that's been hit hard for the past two years. And now another year coming up with so many positive cases and rising infections. This especially refers to ships sailing in U.S. waters, since the current number of reported ships carrying infected passengers or crew is over 90, according to the CDC. And MSC's newest ship in Miami is one of them, having an unknown amount of positives on board. And that was the reason the vessel was refused access to Ocean K, the company's private island, the other day, which is under authorities of the Bahamian government. Instead of enjoying the beautiful beaches on the island, the vessel had to offer guests a day at sea, since there's no other alternatives to the port of call. And according to MSC, those positive cases were isolated according to protocols and proper contact tracing was performed. Hang on a second, before we get into today's thumbnail story, I'd like to invite you to look in the description box below this video. Down there, you can find links to all the articles referenced in today's Midships episode. And I'd like to remind you up at the very top, there are Amazon affiliate links to some cruise swag that I take with me on every single cruise. Things like this passport holder with COVID card insert. And just clicking on the links does benefit this channel just a little bit. And I really could use those clicks because there is a winter weather advisory here in freezing Tennessee and I need to make a little extra coin to afford some winter clothes. And now, unfortunately, we have to talk about our thumbnail story today. The latest cruise outbreak on board a ship that could actually become the very first cruise ship to go into red status with the CDC. Let's learn more from CruiseLawNews.com. And this article is published by Jim Walker of Jim Walker's Cruise Law News. Entitled Harmony of the Seas, Royal Caribbean's Latest Super Spreader. Today, Harmony of the Seas finally returned home to Port Canaveral after a disastrous week at sea. Royal Caribbean transferred over 100 crew members who tested positive to Vision of the Seas, which the cruise line is using as a quarantine facility at sea. Based on dozens of messages from cruise passengers, nearly 300 guests may have tested positive on board for the virus. Last week, it was reported Harmony of the Seas had nearly 50 crew members test positive when Royal Caribbean called on port in Roatan. By yesterday morning, Cruise Law News had received several emails and messages on Facebook that there were many dozens of guests, including children, who tested positive on board. Several people complained on Twitter that there may be as many as 300 passengers at this time though those reports are uncorroborated. Royal Caribbean is fortunate that the CDC did not issue a red warning for this cruise ship, as it appears that it's possible over 400 combined passengers and crew have tested positive so far. Now, I want to make it very clear that CruiseLawNews.com does benefit from sensational stories like this, so it is possible that far fewer than three to 400 COVID positives did take place on board this ship. However, I think it's important that we do report stories like this Obviously, this article is filled with grammatical mistakes, spelling errors, so it's very possible that Jim Walker also has the facts wrong on this article, but I do think it's important that we share with you stories from opposing viewpoints. Now, I'd like to hear your thoughts on this matter. Go ahead and post them in the comments below. I truly believe that all of you out in the Midships family have something to offer here, and you have some of the most insightful commentary of any of the cruise channels on YouTube. If you made it this far into today's episode, why haven't you subscribed to the channel yet? While you're down there subscribing, make sure you leave a big thumbs up if you love cruising. Thanks for stopping by the channel today. And until next time, we'll see ya on the midships. La, 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 la.